and let us never forget. The wealth transfer she's talking about was supposed to have happened in 2022, by the end of 2022, and it didn't. Thank you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman. If this is your first time here, I hope you can get something from my video. And if you are a return viewer, you are obviously a glutton for punishment, and I appreciate you. Hey, uh, folks, if you will, real quick, take a look at this. Check out my friends. Um, they also expose false doctrine and false witnesses, uh, and false preachers and teachers. Folks, if you will, if you do stop by, tell them the Alabama Woodsman sent you. All right, folks, this is a two-part video, Julie Green. I don't do a lot of Julie Green videos because there's others that do do uh, videos on her so much better than I do. But this one, I went back and I started looking, and I'm like, there has been a major, major development since this prophecy went out and that I don't know that I've seen anybody do it. Somebody may have. Like I said, somebody, these people have been reviewing this video before. Uh, but this is the Woodsman's uh, analytical take on this video. Uh, folks, uh, this is Julie Green. What? All right, let's get in the video. Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, July 25th of 2022. I heard one of the most powerful words that I have heard thus far. And all of them have been powerful. But this one is to a different level. All right, folks, so that's some heavy-duty carrot dangling in front of her believers um you know all these all these false prophets everything they do they say is powerful it's just powerful i mean i don't really expect them to say hey i got a word from the lord and it was just kind of humdrum but folks especially nasumi dixon when he says he had a powerful powerful dream and it just falls as flat as glass i mean it's just nothing and you're like you think that was powerful uh, we're going to get into it a little bit more. There's some, <laughs> there's some stuff in here. It is called one government will fall and another one will replace them. I heard this word July 23rd, so just a couple days ago. All right, folks, the video is going to jump because I'm going to show you this graph right here. As you can see, she is spacing out so much time in between those words that we'll be here all day. So you're going to see it jumping and it's just me taking this dead space out. You can see on this graph right here where she speaks and when then there's nothing going on. I cut all that out so you don't have to suffer through that. This one is imperative for all of us to really get down in our hearts that we are his chosen people. That we are the remnant of this very day and this very hour. And God has chosen us to rise above everything that has been attacking each and every one of us all of our lives. And especially in these last couple years. So this word she got from God is supposed to make you realize and get it deep down inside your soul that uh, your your best days are coming, that everything's going to be great, you're going to rise above everything that's been against you your whole life. This message right here, not the written word of God. No, no, no. Not the written word of God. The new spoken word word of God. That's what's going to get down in your soul and get you to victory over things that have been coming against you your entire life. Folks, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag right here. Her video doesn't live up to the hype. Not even close. And we'll see. And it was a big fat lie, which is what she normally does. 
And as I read this word, you can hear the compassion of our Father and what we're going to experience for the next couple months and what He is going to do before the end of the year, before the end of the year, before the end of the year. Folks, just to make sure you understand, all right? She got this word from God on the 23rd of July, 2022, and it was uploaded on July 25th of 2022. So at the time she made her video, God has about less than six full months to get all this done. Keep that in mind. I'll remind you what year it was and what she said it was supposed to. But keep in mind that she said in by the end of the year, and that year was 2022, this is very important. For I, the Lord, this day, I'm telling my children to start taking authority over every situation in your lives. See, folks, this day, July 23rd, 2022, God told his children to start, start taking authority over everything in your life. Folks, the NAR movement has been in place for years, and they've been preaching the same thing for years. But now Julie says, today, God says, children, start taking authority over everything in your life. As if we weren't supposed to do it before July 23rd of 2022. I'm just saying. So taking authority over the situations in your cities. So taking authority over the situations in, the nation, in your nations. That's right, folks. Jesus, through Julie, in 2022, mid-year, said you need to start taking the authority over everything in your cities and your nation. Take authority over it. Uh, first of all, what does that really mean? Now, I'm going to ruffle some feathers here, but it's just something I never really understood. Uh, and I'm not trying to be, just, look, all humor aside, this is something I've struggled with my entire Christian life for now over 40 years. And that is the statement, just give it to Jesus. Now, listen, I'm serious. I'm not trying to be a smart aleck or anything. Uh, I'm being serious. I've never understood what that meant, because what does give it to Jesus really mean? Do, do I just say, Lord, it's yours, and I not worry about it? What, what, if it's, what if it's paying a car note, and they're about to come get my car? Do I just not worry about it, and Jesus is going to plop some money down in my bank account and, and help and, and pay that bill for me? Is he going to make the car dealership or the bank forget that I owe them some money and so they're not going to come get my car? What if I have cancer and someone tells me, oh, just give it to the Lord? What does that mean? Do I stop praying because I have cancer? Do I stop taking my medication? What does it mean to just, just give it to the Lord? See, what I think that means is I got nothing else better to tell you than I hope the Lord works this out for you. I don't know what give it to the Lord means. So it's, it's, it's a, and I tell you that story to say this, it's kind of like take authority. Take authority. Folks, you have zero authority outside of Jesus Christ. And there are things on this earth you do not have the power to do. Now, you have authority to protect yourself from demons, absolutely. You can step out in that authority and that boldness, absolutely. But you can't bind them. There is nowhere in the Bible where it says you can bind a demon. Jesus, as he walked the earth, did not even bind demons. He cast them out under his authority. See, there's some authority right there. Um, folks, this is, I, I want to say this is, this is false prophet NAR speak, but this has been in the church for years. Uh, Kenneth Hagin and, and all these other people, uh, William Branham and C. Peter Wagner and all these people from years ago have all said, you got to take your authority. Folks, you really need to know who you are in the Lord and what your place is, and then you need to stay in it.
Stop making yourself out to be a little god. Because you're not a little god. You're a human being saved by grace. Lord, how do we do that? Some of you may be asking. My children, I have given you my name. I have given you my written word. I have given you the armor you needed for this battle and every battle. Get in my presence and I will let you know who you are with me. You are not alone. You are not abandoned. You are not weak. You are not without. No, I have left you with everything you need to defeat your enemy, anyone he chooses to use. They are all losers and they will go down as losers for all eternity. Now, while on the surface, this, this sounds really good, okay? Yes, you have authority in Jesus. Yes, he gave you everything you need. That written word, notice even she didn't say anything about the spoken word ministry. Um, she didn't mention these prophets either, all right? She said you had the word, you had the name of Jesus and that authority, and that all sounds good to, to defeat the enemy, right? But then at the very end, she says, and to defeat anyone the enemy would use against you. That's where it goes off the rail, people. You got to listen to what they're saying. Trust me, in this life, in the physical life, let's not even talk about demons and devils and all that stuff. The spirit realm, the authority you have in Jesus, if you're not using that, you need to, okay? Okay. Um, let's talk about what she said about the, in, that no matter who the, the devil may use against you. Folks, um, I'm here to tell you right now, you're going to have problems, and you're going to have problems till the day you die with other people. And some of those people are going to be evil, all right? So don't just think that because this lady tells you that you've got the authority of Jesus, and, and anyone who comes against you is defeated and will spend eternally defeated. Folks, the reason why this is so dangerous is because when someone trusts her words and it doesn't work out, they'll have a crisis of faith. And they'll be hearing everyone say, oh, well, this woman's a prophet of God, so it must be you. Or you'll say to yourself, everyone says this woman's a prophet of God. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm not close enough to God. I'm reading my word. I'm fasting. I'm praying. I'm doing all those things she said to do, all the things the Bible says to do. I take care of the widow woman and, and the orphan and those shut in and those in hospitals. And I go to the prison ministry. And when I can, I give money to help somebody else go there. Doing all these things. And yet the enemy is still coming against me through people. Do not have a crisis of faith. Do not blame yourself, but blame her for lying and teaching doctrine that is not found in the written word of God. Folks, you were never, ever promised an easy life as a Christian. And that's what this woman just told you that you should be doing, living the easy life, because Jesus wants you to step into the authority and make it an easy life. It's not going to happen, people. She lied to you. You think it was harsh what I did against Pharaoh and all of his men regarding the Red Sea. What I'm about to do to these world leaders is much bigger than that. Oh yes, when I am done, everyone will know that I still the Most High God. And there will be no denying that. So you just thought what God did to Pharaoh, opening up the Red Sea and swallowing them up and all the curses that were pronounced on them uh, by Pharaoh. You just thought that was bad, okay? Where do you see what God does to all these world leaders? Remember, folks, all of this was to happen before the end of 2022, and it didn't? And you're still following this woman? You still think this woman is a prophetess of our God? Folks, we're just getting started with the lies in her video. My children, things are changing. Things will continue to intensify. Things will occur that will bring shock to most of this world. Okay, that's such a generic prophecy that it, it does not qualify as prophecy. It just doesn't. Folks, she is not prophesying the attack on Israel. That was so vague and, and generic and pedestrian and common that it's, it's laughable as a prophecy. Prophets don't give that kind of nonsense prophecies. 
soothsayers do, fortune tellers do, uh, those mixed up in witchcraft do, but not the true prophets of God. An eruption is about to take place, but the world has never seen quite like this before. Now, folks, when you hear her speak, you should always say when she's through talking, you should add this before the end of 2022. So she just told you there would be an eruption, one that, forget exact terminology, one that's not been seen like that before. It would cause, you know, wow amongst the people or whatever she tried to lead you to believe it was going to do. And then you're supposed to say before the end of 2022. So she said there's going to be an eruption before the end of 22. No, did not happen. Loser. All right, folks, well, I'm going to help you with this, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say before the end of 2022, and then I'm going to play the prophecy she said to help you out. Okay. All right, folks, this so-called prophet says before the end of 2022. Staggering information is about to be released that will cause an uproar in this nation. Generic fortune cookie prophecy. Did we get stuff that was staggering information in 2022? Sure, we did. We get that every day now. A little bit more every day, something comes up about how certain politicians are crooked and how their sons are crooked and all this nonsense. Yeah, folks, that's hardly a prophecy. But it's generic on the front end. In other words, when she prophesied it, it was generic. Give me some accurate prophecy there, Miss Green. Give us some details. Because anyone with any common sense who knows how to manipulate weak-minded people can come up with the prophecies you come up with. All right, folks, this so-called prophet says by the end of 2022. Oh, United States, one government will fall and another one is coming to replace them. The government that I have chosen for such a time as this is coming like a freight train to destroy the power of was fake and fraudulent government, says the Lord. So, folks, you got to remember, she got this word of knowledge on July 23rd. She uploaded it on July 25th of 2022. Folks, that was before the midterm elections in November of 2022. All she's doing at this point is is prophesying what's in the news, and that is there's going to be a red wave in Congress, in both House and the Senate. Folks, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Not like a freight train. We did not take, when I say we, I'm speaking as Republicans and conservatives and Christians. We did not take the Senate in fact, it was so bad, we kept, we kept uh, McConnell in there. He, oh, don't even get me started. Folks, it didn't happen. And Kamala Harris, which I like to say Kamala because I just think it sounds better. Kamala Harris is the tiebreaker. So she, whenever there's a tie, 50-50, she comes in and she breaks it. And guess which side she votes for? Folks, the red wave never happened. That's what that prophecy was about. This woman is a liar. Folks, before the end of 2022... Chaos will consume some people with fear because of what is going on in this world. A civil war, it will appear like, and try to break out, but it will come to nothing because their power is nothing. All right, folks, chaos will break out and it'll appear like a civil war is happening, but it won't, it's not. So you have to understand what was happening back then. Back then, Antifa was cranking up, BLM was cranking up, Soros was pumping money into protesters because they thought the red wave was coming. It was time to bring back the protesters. And when the red wave didn't happen, there was no need for any of it. Folks, by the end of 22... We did not think civil war had broken out, as this lying false prophet said we would. But folks, by the end of 2022... And your enemy's plans are coming down now. So keep 
on shouting them down, my children, it's working and it will start to speed up in these days. Your enemy's plans will be shutting down by the end of 2022. Let's see, what kind of plans might that be? Uh, keep inflation high to empty people's bank accounts and then let them have nothing to show for the, the money spent. That's a good way to break a nation. Um, let's see, uh, tear down um, infrastructure for fossil fuels so that we can make everybody go to electric, which is absolutely no better and in most cases it appears reportedly, allegedly, that it's worse um, on the earth to do battery-powered cars. Let's see what other plans. Population control, uh, that's a big topic for the UN there. They're trying to, to plan all that to lower the population because they think we shouldn't have the amount of people we have on the earth now. Yeah, all those plans will start to fall apart in 2022. Folks, they just stuck it into overdrive. See, now they know that President Biden has got just a few more months to, to bring the wrecking ball in and wreck as much as possible, just in case the Democrats lose the White House. Folks, by the end of 2022... Cry a mighty war cry and watch all these things against you start to turn, shift and turnarounds will begin. Miracles will start to happen. My blessing will begin to manifest more and more in your lives. My blessing is an empowerment that causes you to rise above everything that would try to hold you down. So folks, according to this lying false prophet, you are supposed to get the victory over everything that would hold you down, and you are supposed to get that victory by the end of 2022. It didn't happen. Folks, by the end of 2022. Remember my words. The principalities in the air over you have been defeated. There is less interference now, so pray like never before. Believe like never before. Okay, so the, the, uh, the principalities in the air are defeated now. Kind of goes against... Uh, a Timothy Dixon uh, prophecy I heard just a few weeks ago that there was going there's still great war going on in the heavens and in the atmosphere. Uh, totally goes against that, but hey, you know whatever they they can't they keep prophesying against each other, it's so much that it's like st stupid. It's comedy almost. Uh, folks, if uh, if you pray and your prayer doesn't get answered, uh, look, it's. Something going on with you. See, this causes a crisis of faith. It's not the principalities in the air warring over what you want from the Lord. No, 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 no. They are defeated. You should be getting everything you prayed for. Folks, by the end of the year 2022... I am here for you, and your lives are about to change in ways you never thought possible. These are the days you've been waiting for. So brace yourselves for what is about to take place that you could never have imagined. So you've been waiting for days that you couldn't imagine? How would you be waiting for them if you couldn't even imagine them? And not only that, did those days get here before the end of 2022? Now, folks, here's the thing. We're talking about all Christians. This, this message is for all Christians. Did something, did the days you have, that you were unable to imagine, have they happened before the end of 2022 to all Christians? Folks, by the end of 2022, she says this about Donald Trump. All right, folks, if I understand right, Rush Limbaugh came up with a term called Trump derangement syndrome. And that, I think, was Trump is a Satanist, he's this racist, he's anti-American, he's a communist, he's all these bad things. Trump's living in their head without paying rent. But folks, there's also, at the, at the total end of the spectrum, more Trump derangement syndrome. And that's what some of these Christians are suffering. 
They call this man the new David, God's new David. Well, I kind of wonder how that makes David feel. I mean, you got King David up there who was a man after God's own heart. And even though he was messed up, he still chased God. Um, Folks, they call this man the new David. But I doubt he measures up. Um, She's going to experience her own Trump derangement syndrome and this is where the tears start flowing. She's, she's been good up until now, but when she starts talking about Donald Trump, it's like Liberty High says she feels the glory. Trump derangement syndrome, 180 degrees from what Limbaugh was talking about. Donald Trump, my son, do not doubt me and do not doubt what I will do for you. I'll protect whom you love and I'll protect this nation. From what you are being told is possible, and it could be the worst case scenarios. This will not happen. I will not allow your enemies to go that far. Folks, this one really didn't age well. Um, So he was indicted on 13 criminal charges revolving around the 2020 election on August 13th, 2023. Oh, but wait, I, I thought that the Lord told Donald Trump that the, his enemies weren't going to be able to go that far. They went that far. Julie lied. And then on May 9th of 2023, he was convicted of like a sexual harassment and defamation or something like that. Uh, folks, his enemies went that far. And they're still going that far. Even though this prophet of God heard from the Lord that he was going to protect David Trump from all of this. Folks, there's more to come. Trump's got more coming. It's designed that way, people are telling everyone else. Allegedly, reportedly. I know it's hard to imagine less casualties in a situation like this, but I have done this in my word before. My son, go to Second Chronicles 20 in my written word and read what I did for my people. The enemies fought each other and none on my side were lost. This is possible. Get in prayer with me. Surround yourselves with people who can pray with authority, who will lead you in the right direction. Surround yourself with people who can pray to me with authority. You mean like Paula White, like Kenneth Copeland, terrible decisions. I know he had one more spiritual advisor that was a Fruit Loop as well, but uh, name slips me at the moment. Yeah, he, he, uh, he surrounded himself with Paula White and Kenneth Copeland. Folks, I knew right away, right away. Once I saw who his spiritual advisors were, this was not our man. He was, he was going to be a good president, but he's not our Christian David in no way, shape, or form. Donald, you have had people surrounding you who have purposely given you bad advice. Including your spiritual advisors and your son-in-law. And just about all the military and just about everybody in Congress. Yeah. Folks, the deck was stacked against him. But in 2022, it didn't get any better, which makes Miss Green here a liar. Some know they are sent there to sabotage you. I will reveal the ones who are left. I will tell you who to have near you during this time. My son, it's go time. So go, and I will be with you. I will be with this nation. You are a part of the new United States. Once again, folks, let me remind you, this is before the 2022 midterms, when she thought the red wave was coming and the world was going to change for Americans. That's when she prophesied this. She listened to the hype 
it influenced her prophecy, and she thought the world was going to look different by the end of 2022, and it didn't because she let the news and her own vain, deceitful heart influence her prophecy because she thought there was going to be a new America by the end of 2020. Two, and it was because of the 2022 midterms, which was a bust. I have called you here for this moment. All right, folks, that's more bogus false prophet speak. Um, God has called every president in the United States to be here at that time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been there. We know that God puts government in place to serve his purpose. This is my personal belief. You don't have to believe it. Joe Biden was put in office by God, and it was to bring America to its knees in preparation for the fall. Now, a lot of people don't believe that. That's fine. They want to say, oh, no, God has a will, his perfect will, and then he has his permissive will. They're both his will. If God did not want Joe Biden in office, no one can overpower God and make sure Joe Biden gets in office. If God said, no, Joe's not going to be president, just like uh, Mr. Tombstone Bullock said was going to happen. If God says Joe's not going to be president, there's no one. That can make him president. So we know that God wanted Joe Biden to be president. Now I'm going to get commenters say, no, he just allowed it. Okay, you're 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 splitting hairs into a an area that tells me you want to hang on to your narrative, and that's not how you grow and learn. Folks, no one can steal anything from God. You can't steal the White House from God. You can't put your president in unless God says it's okay. But these people they have no concept of how mighty and powerful God is and how puny man is compared to him. All right, folks, that is the end of video one. Uh, if you will, you, you can look in the description and see a link for video two. Video two's really got something good in there. I, in case you guys don't know, I, I do these videos, and then when I get the, the creme de la creme, then I stop. So that's going to be in video two. I appreciate you watching video one. Normally here at the Alabama Woodsman, we use a lot of mockery, satire, cynicism. Uh, we poke fun at them and everything. But they do people these people do need prayer okay now normally we would do this at the end of the woodsman's video but we're going to do that in video number two because i shot this in one big video and then i chopped it so head on over to video two we will pray for julie and her people at the end of that video folks thank you for stopping by the alabama woodsman